Hello, it's Kohiro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make quicksand, which I'm sinking in right now. And if you like the little cinematic bit at the beginning, then comment down below and I'll make a video on how to do that. And yeah, let's get into it. Now I'm going to show you how to make the quicksand yourself. So what you need is really two things, this command block and the cobwebs. So what this actually uses is basically a command that summons sand that isn't really there, so it's basically a ghost, a ghost block. The command is this, summon falling block, which the default is sand, but it can be anything. And the coordinate, so 2.5 blocks above, above it. Wondering why it's 2.5, if it's just 2, then it's half a block for some reason. So you've got add 2.5, or it can be 1.5 or 3.5 or anything. So I make it 3, makes it block higher. But I'll just keep it two because that's a nice number. So now, now it's there. And um, you have to have this little tag here, which is no gravity 1B. Basically, it just means no gravity. If you get rid of this, then it starts shaking because it's falling because it has gravity. So what you've got to write is no, with a capital N, gravity 1B. So that's the command, it'll be in the description. And so you need this command block. And what you're gonna do, so basically it's just a, um, it's basically just a falling sand entity, which is a ghost block as well, to make this trap. So what we're gonna do is mine three blocks under, or even four, like that, so the sand is in sync with the ground. But you may be able to notice there's these little tiny little lines here or not but they're very very small plus there's no there's no border if you look at it we're going to fix that but before adding the command block we can put a cobweb there then you add the command block and you notice it actually now has an outline it has this little line here then you're just going to do that many times also now you start sinking in it because all it really is it's just cobwebs, so you can also add more cobwebs and more. But we're going to add just more quicksand, which is as easy as this. So let's make a little pit here. Fill up with these command blocks. That all have this command in, by the way. Then we're going to just fill in the, the cobwebs, which can be a bit hard because you've got to aim right for the edge. But and then after you finish that, your trap is ready. So here's all the entities because all the hitboxes on. And yeah, cobwebs are just like that. And you can add more. You can fall down them. Now you know how to make the quicksand. I'm going to show you what happens if you actually go in it. And if you can try and escape. So I'm going to try and escape with um, a sword, a pickaxe, some blocks and food. So I can try and break out when I go in it. Also, you don't have to add lava at the bottom, like in the bit of the video at the beginning. But you can if you want it to be deadly. Otherwise, it'll just sink and you'll be stuck. But let's try to do this now. I believe it's somewhere here, but you, it's seamless, so I can't really tell. So, I think it's somewhere here. Let me just jump in it. Yeah, I'm in it. So, I'm going to try to break out. Because there's actually cobwebs here, so you can use it with the sword. Brace blocks. But, although, by the time you place anything, you're too far down. So, try to break this. Which is going to be difficult. But then you can't break it because you're already in it. So, there's really no way you can break out of this. It really is just impossible. You, can't even, you have no idea where it is as well. Be careful not to walk in it yourself. 
But yeah, it's really difficult to break out of because as soon as you go, as soon as you're in it, you can try break the cobwebs with your sword because that's what you use to break cobwebs or shears even. But then what you can do because you're already sinking, you place a block. You're not gonna be able to. You can't go up. You can't jump in cobwebs. Plus, there's lava there, so I'll eventually die. But I don't need to die today. And yeah, that's really it. If you have any questions or anything, write them in the comments. If you want to see how to do the little cinematic bit at the beginning, then I'll make a separate video on that. Comment that down below as well. And you can also add infinite cobwebs to this as well. You can keep going down, down, down. It's more dangerous. But yeah, I'm going to end this video sinking because that's what the video is about. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.